Hello everyone, I'm Ritu and welcome to phase 1 of the postpartum exercise routine. Proper alignment, proper posture and correct breathing is very very important when it comes to correcting your diastasis recti or ab separation which happens during pregnancy. Also, it is important when you are someone who is trying to resume or start with any kind of a workout routine immediately after pregnancy. So before we move ahead, it is very important that you go through the disclaimer which has been played before this video. All the four exercises which will be shown in this video can be done anywhere within the comfort of your home and you do not require any extra gear for it. These are very basic exercises and along with these exercises you can even do and start with some basic you know light walking or some basic chest and neck stretches as well. So let's start. Before starting the breathing, just keep your hands on your pubic bone to find your TA muscles. The transverse abdominal muscles are the deepest of our ab muscles. It extends between the ribs and the hips, wrapping our body like a corset. The fibers of this muscles run horizontally just like a belt. I am doing it standing to show it clearly to you. However, if you are starting it first, start it with by lying down on a mat or start it by sitting on a chair. Now focusing on the breathing, keep one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. The breathing focus should be only through diaphragm. Our core starts through diaphragm and goes down to the pelvic floor muscles surrounded by abs and spinal muscles. Take few breaths, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth and see from where the breathing happens. The breathing should only be through diaphragm and not through your chest. If you see that there is a lot of movement happening in your chest and you are breathing through it, then that is incorrect. Stop, focus, realign and see if the breathing happens from there. There should be a special focus on your alignment. The body should be straight, the posture should be straight, your pubic bone should form a V area and the rib cage should be just above the pelvis. There should be no slouching in front or in back. The posture should be straight. Now keep your hands on your belly area, inhale and as you exhale, pull your belly button towards the spine and imagine contracting the transverse abdominal muscles towards the center. If here you feel any movement in your legs or your buttocks tense, you are not using the TA muscles but your lower body muscles. If this happens, stop and resume again. Take a deep inhale while letting your belly button and lower rib cage expand. Don't let the shoulders rise. If you are unable to find the TA muscles, close your eyes and then try contracting them. This may look easier but it needs practice. Some of you might not be able to find your TA muscles, so close your eyes, send positive thoughts down there and imagine the picture of your abdomen's anatomy. This exercise can change the whole picture of your core. Later after 2 weeks, you can even combine the TA exercise with Kegels and progress to pulses. Kegels can be done by sitting on a chair or while sitting on a stability ball or even while lying down on a mat. If you decide to sit on a chair like me, sit forward apart from the back of the chair. The focus should be on your posture, the body should be in a straight alignment, your rib cage should be just above your pelvis and the pubic area should form a V. Do not slouch forward and backward. When you are ready with your alignment, focus on your breathing which should not be through your chest. Now. Sit relaxed. There are three exits to your body. The number one is your urethra. Second is your vagina. And the third one is anus. If you closely observe, all these three exits form a figure eight. Now we'll tell you an easy way how to do Kegels. Imagine this figure eight just below your lower portion of the body with all the exits down there. Now contract your pelvic floor muscles by imagining pulling up the middle of the figure 8 upwards and then releasing them. Flow through your breaths releasing your vagina and anus down on your inhale breath and picking them up on your exhale. You can imagine also like that that you are inhaling and inflating the trunk imagining your pelvic floor muscles filled up with air and while exhaling release the pelvic floor muscles imagining them deflating. The focus should be both on relaxation and contraction and not on contraction alone. Lift up your pelvic floor muscles by lifting up the middle of the figure 8 
and then releasing them. You can do 10 breaths and two sets of such 10 breaths. You can do it once in the morning, once in the evening or any time throughout the day. This will be helpful if you have incontinence issues. To do the pelvic tilt, lie down from your sides. You can lay down on a firm bed, an exercise mat or the floor, whatever is comfortable to you. You can even keep a pillow below your head. Now form a triangle or a yoni mudra with your hands and keep it over your pelvic area. By doing this, you will be able to feel the pelvic tilt properly. And it's good if you are a beginner. Lie on your back with bent knees on the floor. In this neutral position, the natural curve of your spine will lift the lower back slightly off the floor. Exhale and gently rock your hip towards your head. As you do this, you will feel your lower back pressing on the floor. Stay here for a few seconds and then inhale and return to neutral position. You can even imagine that your pelvis is a bowl of water and when tilting the pelvis, imagine the water spilling towards your belly. For a clear view, you can see how my pelvic is tilting. Just don't forget to keep breathing and do not let your buttocks come off the floor as the pelvic tilts. Lie with face up with knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Keep your arms at your side. Lift your hips off the ground until your knees, hips and shoulders form a straight line. Squeeze those glutes hard and keep your core drawn in and engaged so you don't overextend your back during the exercise. Hold in the bridge position for 3-4 to four seconds before easing back down. Make sure you are not pushing from your heels but from the hips and nowhere else. It is a great exercise for hip mobility and strengthening the lower back.